Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and we are back 2 and 0 going into conference play, going up against Northwestern. But before hopping into this game, I want to look at the sliders here. So, as you can see, we do play on Heisman. We're not cheating nobody. We're playing on Heisman. Speed threshold at 5. The link is in the description if you really want to link to these sliders. But I actually made a few tweaks to them. I made the computer a little bit better. Uh, as you can see, QB accuracy for us is 5. Uh, the one thing I do want to look at here, though, is uh, pass blocking and run blocking. So our run blocking is at 5 right now. Uh, which is fine. Pass block is at 30, which is pretty good. I mean, if I had timed the amount of time I get to throw the ball compared to real life, it's pretty similar. Uh, but I want to tweak the CPU. I want to make them a little better on defense. I am putting up a little bit more points than I would like. I mean, honestly, like it, it has to do with option defense as well for the computer. They don't really defend the option too well. They do at times, but there's times when they're just like, flat out like you can just run the same play and you'll get them every single time as long as you read that end correctly you can get positive yards which i don't want i want them to uh stop me at least stop it on short runs limit the long runs but but this game i'm definitely gonna have trouble with that because i'm on my third string quarterback but what i'm gonna do here is up the pass coverage up one pat up the rush defense up one uh just to give them uh, a little bit of a boost there I want them to be consistent throughout the game. It seems like the computer always comes out super hot and then they cool down. So I kind of want to make it so that it's even throughout the game. So maybe this five point boost uh, will help them. But let's just look at our matchup here. This is 16 versus 17. The good thing is I am at home. I do play better. At least my team plays better at home. But let's look at this matchup, man. They're number 15 in the nation in points per game. So they're going to be putting up points. Number three pass offense. And one thing that I got to look out for, they have Thorson at quarterback. I believe that's his name, Thorson. I think he's just coming on the scene uh, as far as NFL radars within the last, like, few weeks uh i was just looking at some mock drafts and they actually have him going pretty high they have him as like a dark horse quarterback going into this draft so clayton thorson he's 90 speed he is a monster 94 awareness uh let's see what else 68 carrying so maybe we can force a fumble if he tries to scramble but here's the thing 83 throw power 84 throw accuracy so if he tries to throw deep rutledge and my boy riggins and brown they're gonna be in coverage i mean they're gonna be covering their receivers pretty well because i don't think they have any superstar receivers let's just look at them really quick uh so they have 87 speed 86 eight. so so yeah i mean they're top three receivers uh all seniors and juniors but they're not really top end speed guys uh this is the fast guy they got and he's probably not even gonna touch the field but before hopping into this game i want to show you guys what the depth chart is looking like going into this game so obviously peyton ramsey is hurt but tronti is gonna get his first start as a red shirt freshman quarterback and my emergency quarterback behind him is Devonte williams that means that I'm going to have a running back at quarterback. Nobody else on my team can really throw the ball. But look at his throw about 55, 51 is his throwing stats. I mean, there's nobody better. So he's the next one up. Marcus Rutledge, maybe? Put him at quarterback and then just run the option all game? I don't know. I hope Toronto does not get hurt in this game. There's one more week left until Ramsey gets back. So he's got to hold it down. But let's just hop into this, man. This is going to be a tough game, but we got to do it. Let's go. Starting this game out with the triple option, it is raining outside, so it's going to be a little bit harder to throw the ball this game. So we're going to try to get Tronti out of the pocket here, try to get him out of the pocket on a lot of rollouts, a lot of just short passes, try to get him going. But as you can see on the first drive, three and out, so we punt there, giving the ball back to Northwestern, and Thorson is looking to lead the northwestern wildcats to a first down here but he can't and that's a legal touching so that's a punt right away for them as well so now we take over on our second drive and as you can see if you look at who's that quarterback Devonte williams actually takes over because tronti got hit on the last drive on that sack and he goes out of the game but 
He quickly gets back into the game after Devontae Williams throws a screen pass to Mike Majette for a nice 15-yard gain. So Tronti is back into the game now. And I didn't even realize that Devontae Williams was in the game until um, I threw that screen pass. But now Tronti's back in the game, into the red zone now, rolling out to the right side, uh, fumbling on the sideline. And luckily that one fumbles out of bounds. So we catch a break there. So now we're inside the 10-yard line, giving the ball to Devontae Williams. He's going to stumble up to the one-yard line. And on the next play, Mike Majette's going to finish it off, cap the drive off with a touchdown. So Tronti, not too bad in his first scoring drive here as the Indiana Hoosiers quarterback. But as you can see, it's, it's a little slippery out there. Thorson, the ball's just slipping out of his hand. If my end was paying attention there, he probably could have got an interception on that one. So on a second and 10, Thorson's dropping back, finding his receiver. Nagel on the sideline. So on a second and 13 here, getting open is Brown here on the uh, out route. So third and inches at the 50-yard line. Thorson's, you remember, he's got some good speed. He's got 80 speed. He gets up past the 50-yard line. So on a third and seven, Thorson's going to find his receiver up to the 30 yard line so we stop them but it's on the 30 yard line so they're going for it on a fourth and one they run a slant pattern and that beats man coverage up to the 15 yard line so Thorson on the next play speed option gets past Marcelino ball on that one and gets into the end zone end zone so Thorson ties the game up with his legs instead of his arm and they don't have a lot of athletes remember before the game we looked at some of the receivers' speed, and they weren't very speedy. And we definitely can stick up man coverage with them all game. But as you can see, we can't do anything on offense. So we forced to throw the ball away, forced to punt the ball back to Thorson. But like I said, they don't have many athletes. So Moten, their running back, cannot get anything going on the ground. So on a third and long, Thorson's going to throw it into double coverage. That one's going to be tipped by Rutledge there, the freshman. So they give the ball right back to us. This is kind of an even game up to this point. But we're going to try to get some easy throws uh, for Troncy because we know he doesn't have that arm strength to get the ball down the field. So here he is using his legs, rolling out to the right, finding Richard, the freshman. And he's up into the 10-yard line. Baby Gronk getting open there. And that was a tight end matchup on a linebacker. I don't know if their linebacker is super slow or what, but Richard isn't a fast guy, but he absolutely burned the linebacker on that one. And Devontae Williams finishes it off, getting in for the inside zone touchdown. So the Hoosiers take an early 14-7 lead almost at halftime. So with three minutes left in this quarter, Thorson is going to drop back, find his receiver Nagel over the middle, but that's what, that one's going to be short of the first down. Rutledge with a nice tackle there right before uh, the first down marker. So on a second and inches, we get the ball back. Devontae Williams, we're going to give him a heavy dose of carries in this one. So on a second and 10, Devontae Williams is going to get open there on the play action read. But look at this end. That end was catching up stride for stride with 91 speed. Devontae Williams, and we almost should we should have broke that one, but... Their end showed some incredible speed on that one. So Mike Majette in the spell. Devontae Williams inside the red zone here, but he gets back into the game for the seven four-yard touchdown, actually. And the Indiana Hoosiers, just like that, take the 21-7 lead right before half. But Thorson's got a good arm. He can make things happen when nobody else can because he's basically their whole offense. I mean, without him, they cannot do anything. So... 50 seconds left in this game past the midfield marker. And Thorson's going to drop back to pass, find his receiver, Brown. No pass pressure on that one. And that's one thing that we're going to have to make adjustment at halftime, sending some pressure at him because here he is rolling out, getting past the defensive end inside the five on a 20-yard rush. And on the next play, on a second and goal, Moten's going to try to run it in, but that's three seconds left on the clock. So... We get them to kick the field goal before half. So 11-point lead at the half with our third-string quarterback isn't bad. Gotcha, but as you can see, they start the ball off, start the half off with the ball. And 
we force a sack. So now they punt the ball. We get good field position off of a Calvin McDuffie. Uh, nice return there. And here we are. We're getting baby Gronk involved in the passing game. And Tronti's going to drop back once again, finding Richard. And this time he's going to run over the defender, get up into the 10-yard line. So Richard is showing that he can get open versus anybody. I mean, clearly he's our best weapon on offense. And as you can see, Tronti's going to fit an absolute dime in between the defenders, finding Luke Timmy in our slot receiver in for the touchdown. As you can see, Tronti's doing really well. Nine for 13, a touchdown up gotcha, to this bitch. point. And he's really impressive. I mean, this is a Northwestern defense that – they don't gotcha, they're bitch. not they don't have any scrubs. I mean, they're a pretty good defense. They're a B plus rating and we're going out here and showing them that we can pass the ball even with a guy that hasn't even touched the field this year. So, Tronti back on offense leading the team up the field. Joe Richard is getting open there for the 5-yard game. Simi Cobbs getting him involved for the first time this whole game. And like I said, we got to try to get Devontae Williams. He makes a move there getting past the safety. A nice 15-yard gain. So, Tronti on a play action. Simi Cobbs open over the middle, getting to the one-yard line. And who else but Devontae Williams? He can do it all. He can throw screen passes. He can run up the middle. He can break tackles. He gets in for his third touchdown on this. <laughs> but Thorson finds his receiver. But look at what happens. Look at him in the pocket. He absolutely turns all the way around and... <laughs> Throws it without looking. Doesn't even throw it in that direction. It's not even facing that direction. But finds the open receiver there. And that's just that Heisman cheese that we keep talking about. So on a fourth and ten, we're on to the fourth quarter already. And they go for it inside the red zone because they're down by 25. But Rutledge with the pass breakup there. He's not letting anything happen to him this year. Nothing. No big plays on the left side of the field. I mean, he's pretty much... Put that side on an island for every team we played so far. And these are just garbage time points here. Giving the ball to Paul Stone, we actually sub out Devontae Williams because we don't want him to get hurt. We want to make sure that he stays healthy, especially since both our quarterbacks went down. So as you can see, Northwestern getting the ball back down 10-38 to now. And they just can't do anything on a third down. They try to toss the ball to their tight end, but Crawford's going to come up with a huge hit. So we get the ball back on a second 11. Tronti's going to find the freshman, freshman to freshman connection. Wilson's going to get down to about the 30-yard line. And we eventually get in for the touchdown. And that one's going to do it for this one. 45-10, to 10, a blowout. And as you can see, Tronti was pretty impressive. I mean, he, he had a great day throwing the ball. Richard, once again, as you can see, he's now an impact player for us. Seven receptions, 94 yards, and our defense just straight balled out. They just stopped the run. I mean, their running back couldn't get anything done this whole game. The passing defense wasn't bad. Thorson's going to get his. But besides that, we just shut down the run, shut down the receivers. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We'll be back for the next episode. We're going to Minnesota.